Hello, George Romanich here. Today I'm going to derive hypsometric equation using geopotential. Brr, sounds very scary, but it's actually very simple. We already know what hypsometric equation is. I derived it a few videos ago. It tells us the thickness between uh, two different pressure surfaces. The video is technical, but very simple. We start from a hydrostatic equation, few assumptions, and we get hypsometric equation. If you don't like these types of technical videos, then you can just skip and watch some other video or uh, wait until I do some experiments or just go and watch beauty bloggers. We will start with hydrostatic equation. P is pressure, Z is height, rho is density and G is gravitational acceleration. As I said many times now in atmospheric sciences, we don't like to use density. So we use equation of state where P is pressure, T is temperature in kelvins, and RD is gas constant of dry air. So here we make assumption that air is dry. Now, if you want to take into account moisture in the air, then this temperature should be virtual temperature. But uh, I'm not going to talk about that now. Bef uh, later I will have a playlist on atmospheric thermodynamics, and then we will define that exactly. For now, let's just assume that air is completely dry. Expressing rho and substituting here, we get that dp is minus p over r dt times g dz. But notice that g dz is actually geopotential that we defined in previous videos, d phi, which means that d phi is equal minus r d t d p over p. Or if I now integrate this, I will get that integral of d phi or d phi, not sure what is correct, is minus r d t integral d p over p. And I'm integrating this from pressure surface P1, where I have my geopotential V1, to some other pressure surface P2, where I have geopotential V2. The solution of the left side of this integral is V2 minus V1, and that is equal minus Rd integral P1, P2, uh, T, dp over p. Now we know that geopotential height zg is defined as geopotential over g0 and g0 is the standard gravity. I told you it in one of the previous videos it is 9.80665 meters per second square. So that means if we divide this equation with g, I will have this equation expressed in terms of geopotential height. Zg2 minus Zg1 is equal minus Rd divided by G0 integral P1, P2, T, dp over p. And this is hypsometric equation using geopotential height. This is hypsometric equation using geopotential. I assume that some of you are now, uh, but Professor Romanich, can you actually solve this integral on the right hand side? And the answer is yes and no. Yes means I already solved it in my video on hypsometric equation. To solve this integral, we need to make some assumption about temperature. So we have pressure surface P1 and P2, but temperature depends on height and pressure. So what is the profile of temperature between P1 and P2? If we assume that we just take average, then this temperature will go in front of the integral and this becomes logarithm of P or when we plug in uh, limits, it will be logarithm P2 over P1. Now, if you come up with your own profile of temperature between P1 and P2, 
I might be able to solve it depending how nasty you are with the profile. If you give me some crazy profile, then the integral might become so difficult that I am not actually able to solve it. If you give me some nice variation of temperature with height, linear or something like that, then you can plug it in here or I can plug it in and solve this integral. In any of these cases, I already discussed this in my video on hypsometric equation and I solved this integral assuming that t is actually average value between p1 and p2. This was hypsometric equation using geopotential. Now you know hypsometric equation using regular height and you also know hypsometric equation using geopotential. Your knowledge is vast now. Until next video, goodbye.